Welcome to Arc Week. You already know what that means. Well, now that I think about it, to the Destiny community, I guess that means get out your Spectral Blades, but I digress. Let's get into today's build, which is going to contain Bottom Tree Striker. The highlight to this buff is going to be melee kills give like a 20% damage boost. Number doesn't really matter. What does matter if, is if I get a drain kill, it gives one overloaded round to the Sturm that does 170 damage. And with that 20% boost, it'll just one-shot people. So I call this my pocket sniper rifle. And on the other hand, literally, I guess, uh, the Worm God Caress is my pocket shotgun. Melee kills increase melee damage. All I need is one single melee kill. And then after that, for a couple seconds, every successive hit will one-shot opponents. Alright, didn't work. <laughs> didn't work out for him. Oh, wrong gun. I uh, may maybe click my mouse a little bit too hard there. I'm gonna have a light hand when I play. Let's go catch them at Rockwall. I might be able to punch one or two of them. He's in a rift, so as long as I hit headshots, I can still 3-tap him. That's one of the benefits of 110 RPM hand cannons, is they can actually out-DPS a rift. I'm gonna hide my uh, gun for a sec, my rocket. Use it when I really need it. I want someone to get a little bit too comfortable and then rush me and then they'll die to the rocket. I can see his gun. He's not gonna peek out, now he is. I, I like his choice to take a different angle there. There it is. Let's get B-Flag together. If I float up high, I might have an angle otherwise. Yeah, there it is. Looking for him? Alright, perfect. Let's get B-Back together. So the way I like to use Sturm and Drang is to... Well... <laughs> let me explain. I like to use Sturm as the primary source of damage and then use Drang as a cleanup tool. It's not a very consistent weapon on mouse and keyboard for some reason or another. So by using Sturm to pop him in the face for 91 damage, it makes for a very, very easy cleanup with Drang, which then overcharges the Sturm so that my successive kill does 170 to the face requiring only one Drang body shot and actually from a pretty good distance away. I should have shot that earlier. I failed your teammate. I will not be the last word with Sturm Drang in close quarters unless he misses, because he can just get four body shots. Oh, there we go. Now I can one-shot melee for a few. Or not. <laughs> Sura's gonna tear me up. He had the right angle. He knew to jet himself outward as I went into that corner. I was gonna try to float overhead. It wasn't worth a super there. It's actually always worth switching to the stone face helmet so that I get an overshield. And this turns my uh, super into like a consistent 7 plus kills. It's very, very stupid how strong this is. There it is. And again. Now to B flag. How many is this? I lost count already. But this is not okay. That's fair enough. It's a Wishbringer. It's gonna kill me. I, I think all the super changes have went a little bit overboard. It's buffed to Spectral Blades as strength. Like, I agree that does solve balance, but that creates a whole new set of issues, which is, if I'm playing well, people are more likely to use their super on me. And as a result, I deal with more supers than the average person. Walk it out. And so to me, it just feels like they're supers non-stop because people dedicate me as the person to use the super on. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Rally Barricade. Uh, fun fact about Sturm, any energy weapon kill will boost it from 91 damage to the head to, oh, he's gotta reload, 295 to the head. So I can two-tap certain resiliences. Oh, okay. 
So there goes the worm gods in action. I was able to one-shot melee somebody. Had I gotten that third melee out, I could have comboed the storm. But he was ready for it. He was fast. I don't think I can catch up to that. So I was just talking about Sturm's 95 damage to the head. If I get any energy weapon kill, this could be with a snipe, this could be with Drang, then in that case, Sturm does 95 to the head and could therefore two-tap Guardians of Three Resilience or lower. Don't be lost. I'm gonna burn. Oh, no, I slid out. Perfect. No, okay. Everybody uses a grenade on me. Last word shredded me right there. A strong start. So even the ability cooldowns are a little excessive in my opinion right now for that exact reason. They see me and they think, you know what, I think he's worth a grenade and now I'm dealing more grenades. Nice team. I got some severe tunnel vision. Oh shit, this is great. I missed my shots, I deserve to die. Yeah, I should have held the crouch, he could have missed. He used an arc bolt, so I was sore. My hand was forced. Luckily, I have a pulse nade now for groups. If I slide into this, that's two. So the reason uh, that I use this particular rocket is because whenever I use Sturm and Drang, I very obviously am not using a special weapon. I don't need a special scavenger. That could have been a quad or a five man if I actually landed that melee. A little disappointed, like 2%. So by running double rocket scavenger, you can ensure more rockets. No, you don't. I can't believe the shoulder charge didn't connect, but like, honestly, you know, this is another reason. Every time you, you fight another super, it's a coin toss. You never know who's going to win, even if you know what you're doing. With the exception of maybe like Arc Strider. That was a mistake. I missed the shot. Okay, so Bushman is going to be my priority every single time because he's shown that he can actually shoot a gun, a primary. And I commend him. It's tough to do in the world of special weapons. Your enemy can't I can't believe I haven't one shot somebody with Sturm for you guys yet. I need to do that. I'm gonna go do that right now. Alright, so now I need a drain kill. No! Teammate! I need to do this again now. I guess I'm not gonna be able to one shot somebody with Sturm for you. Let's see. Back to Stoneface. I can still one shot without the Worm God's Caress. Just can't do it with the melee. This will hit two of them. Yeah, Bushman's really good at this game. It's unfortunate that I can't go to Rumble because I could really, really easily set up the scenario at which I can one shot opponents with Sturm. But unfortunately, in Rumble. There is just AFK bots, so there won't be much of a game to be played. It'll just be me and one other person, like, shooting bots and racing and how fast we can kill people not even playing the game. It's kind of sad. So, yeah, here, here's my rocket. Um, just because I love you guys, here's the dirty little secret. Field prep. It says increased ammo reserves. I'm not going to say anything else on it. Uh... Well, I will say one thing else. Like this video, <laughs> favorite, subscribe, whatever you already know. But I really do think this is the best role you can get on it. I have got impact casing, but I don't think it's necessary. I'd rather have more velocity. Look at that combo. That's just dirty. The only thing that maybe could have made this better was like a blast radius masterwork. Perfect, and we're already into another match, so maybe I can one-shot people. Let's see. What else is like quality of life? I noticed that this Eternal Warrior, I put a Resilience mod because I'm only switching to it when I have a super. And so if I can tank more things, more power to me. Your advantage grows. Stay strong. That shot. 
shut them down. Two for one. This is amazing. Keep moving. Zone B lost. Oh my goodness. Don't do it to him. Body works there too. There we go. Same thing. How much bullets do I have? Only two. That's not enough. 204. There we go. 